What's good sports gamers and welcome back to our NBA 2K20 tip series and today I'll be going over how to improve your passing game in 2K20 by showing you all the different types of passes you can do and when to do them. So right, let's get it. First off we'll start with the most common pass in the game, the normal pass. This works perfectly fine when the offense is properly spaced out i.e. not having multiple guys on top of each other and you can simply just rely on the left stick to aim at whoever you want to pass it to and hit A or X. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it will go to where you want it. Next, we'll be going over the bounce pass. The bounce pass comes in handy as a pass to the hoop, as since the bounce doesn't have a straight line trajectory, it comes in under the defender's hand to avoid being stolen, and gets to the player's hand. It won't allow you to thread the needle for passes or under legs, unfortunately, but can help you avoid steals passing to guys on a fast break. And to do so, you aim the left stick at your target and hit B or circle on your controller. In real life, this is a move smaller ball handlers use against much taller guys to get the ball past them. Now for the jump pass. And to complete this, you hold X and A on Xbox or Square and X on PlayStation. Technically, you're not supposed to jump to pass the ball because once you're in the air, that's it, you gotta do something. But there is his very own button for it, so let's get into how we can make this work for us. Use this purposely when you're being guarded by a bigger player with their hands up and you see somebody streak into the hoop for example. So hitting this lets you get a better angle for the pass so it doesn't get deflected by their long arms. In real life you will usually pull this off on the pick and roll to get over the big guys if they switch or hedge out on you. Next is the lob pass. And you achieve this by aiming the left stick at your target then hitting Y or triangle on your controller. This has the same trajectory as the jump pass, but much slower. Now why would you purposely make it slower? Well, this is used when a post play is being fronted by a defender, usually a smaller guy so they don't get back down into the stance. So you attempt a lob, getting a high trajectory on it and over their head. Also works just getting the ball into the post over the defender guarding you so they don't tip it. Doing this in any other spot other than this very specific situation is asking to get it stolen from. Next is the fake pass. To do it you hit Y and B on Xbox or triangle and circle on PS4 at the same time. It's best used against off ballers or when you're playing team full of humans, Pro-Am, Park, whatever, so you can get them to reach for the steal to set them up for the next move, which is the lead to the basket pass. And to do this you aim the left stick at who you want to take off, then press Y or triangle to send them. If they don't end up with a clear lane, you hit the right bumper to cancel it, so don't worry. This can catch guys who don't switch off to the guy who you just passed it to sleeping or to take advantage of space at the hoop. I like to use it when I have a big man posted up at the free throw line for example. And I don't even use the give and go function, I use this all the time because they basically do the same thing sending off ball guys to the rim, you know? Example here, this situation I didn't expect the guy to jump so instead of passing it back to him and ruining the window he has to take advantage of him in the air, I lead him to the basket and he ends up putting Buddy on a poster. Now for the flashy pass. And the better the passer is, the higher chance you won't look silly doing this. And to attempt this, you double tap Y or triangle on your controller. Next is the touch pass. To perform a touch pass, you aim the left stick at your target and quickly tap the A or X button before the original receiver of the pass gets it, so you can then quickly toss it to the next guy. You do this to beat rotations or if you pass it the wrong guy originally by accident. A common situation to do a touch pass is when somebody is driving to the hoop and you have a guy in the corner. Sometimes though you will have a chance to get the shot up because the defender didn't rotate over completely. But other times they do, and when you notice that, you swing a touch pass over to the guy in the corner. Now for the icon pass. Now the problem with regular passes and relying on the left stick comes when it's more than two guys in the general area as it's then tough to pinpoint where you're going with the pass 100% of the time. So that's when you want to bust out the icon pass and to be more precise. You do that by hitting RB or R1 and then the icon of the player you want to pass it to. Now with icon lead passing which brings on a whole new twist, once you bring up the icons to pass it, to pass lead you aim the left stick in the direction you want and then hit their icon and you will lead them in whichever direction you chose. Icon lead passing is very dangerous to use on a fast break when you can create scoring chances out of nothing. Here I created a scoring chance by directing them towards the hoop on a fast break. 
And the same thing happens here. He actually gets in front of the defender for a scoring opportunity because I let him. What I like about lead passing is you can just leave the icons up and pass when you see the chance. You don't have to rush it. Now for skip passing. Now skip pass is useful when you have multiple targets in the pass lane and you want to pass it to the furthest guy. You aim the left stick in that direction and then hold A or X on your controller. This goes a little faster and easier to pull off to hitting RB or R1 to icon pass and hitting that specific player's icon to pass it. Next is the alley-oop. To do an alley, you aim the left stick at your target, then double tap Y or triangle on your controller. You want to make sure your target and more importantly your pass has a clear lane to the hoop because if a defender is in between either, they will Randy Moss you and steal it. And lastly, to roll the ball in bounds, you simply hit Y or triangle after a made basket. Make sure there's enough room for you to do so though or the defensive player will steal the ball. This saves time on the clock when the clock starts working against you. Sorry sports gamers, hope I was able to help you out with the basics of passing in NBA 2K20. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more NBA 2K20 tip videos. And hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss none of them. Alright people, I'm Chris. Thank y'all for watching and be good y'all.